Hi everyone, it's me, Michael, or M-I-C-H-A-E-L, with Hello Cupcake, it's me. <laughs> so, sorry, just trying out a little of my ASL, but... Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me, and uh, today is the Saturday check-in. It is April 29th, 2023, and thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe, then head on over to uh, podcast.hellocupcakeitsme.com to check out the podcast, and then uh, go give hellocupcakeitsme.com some love. Um, on the podcast, we are... I just did episode 63, so can't believe it's already been 63 episodes so far. So really happy with that. So yeah, um, as you guys know, I'm trying to learn sign language, and so I've been practicing trying to like do the intro to my video by saying, Hi everyone, it's me, Michael. And the reason I point to my labray and then do the M is because in sign language, you pick out a characteristic about yourself and then um, that just becomes your quick name. But for people who don't know that, it that I go like this, that that means my name, um, then you have to fingerspell it M-I-C-H-A-E-L. And then I'll do... Um, you know, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, or Michael. And, uh, oh, nice nice to meet you, Michael. Or, nice to meet you. But, um, yeah, so I was playing around with the, um, trying to say, um, Hi, um, everyone. <laughs> it's me, Michael, with Hello, Cu or Hello Cupcake. So, um... Yeah, still playing around with it, still learning, uh, following a lot of really good uh, content providers. There's Learn ASL with Debbie on Facebook. I love her. There's uh, Learning ASL with Meredith on um, YouTube. And uh, there's another content provider. I don't know what his name is, but he's a... Um, He's a bald-headed guy, and he always wears, like, a black button-down. And, um, I've been watching a lot of his videos, too, so. Uh, also, looking into seeing if there is a local club or something that I can join where I can get more hands-on. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, <laughs> interactions, or whatever. But... Anyways, uh, sorry about the Wednesday check-in video. I had to go into the city, and I was running on literal zero. I had, a, I didn't have a really good restful sleep that night, and I had gone to the YMCA and did my little workout or whatever, and then uh, was asked to go to the city to uh, pick some things up, and... I normally, what I do is I go and I work my butt off and then I have lunch with my sister and then I come home and I take a nap and then I get up in the afternoon and then do the rest of my day. Um, so that day I was, I got up at 6.15 and I didn't get home until 3.35 and that's kind of a significantly long day for me. Especially with as much energy as I was putting out and I was getting hangry and I was tired and I was just cranky and um, dealing with people and their stupidity and their driving and just everything was just pissing me off that day like ugh. so yeah. By the time I got home, I just had nothing in me to do a proper video for Wednesday. I don't know why Wednesdays have become such a, like, daunting day for me, but it's like, 
everything just falls on me on a Wednesday. Uh, but, you know, we did really well in trivia. And I got home kind of late. Well, no, I got home early from trivia, but I wasn't able to get in bed until midnight. And I think that's kind of what uh, carried over was the fact that I went to bed at midnight and then got up six hours later and then did a full day's worth of work. Um, according to my pedometer and everything, I had done 3.5 miles worth of walking and, um, it said something like I burnt 6,700 calories. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know what? Yay. Uh, but God damn, just getting it going. Uh, so yeah. Trivia. We actually tied with three other bars, and I was 27th nationally ranked in one of the uh, categories that we had. So we went from 8th place gold division to 4th place gold division now, and we are really happy about that, and we're uh, kicking ass and taking names. So um, really, really happy with that. Uh, what else has been going on? Um... I covered so much stuff in the podcast yesterday that I are on Thursday. I'm afraid of like being repetitive. So, um, if you've listened to the podcast and I'm repeating here, I'm sorry, but, um, uh, yeah, I got my, uh, Timu order in and, uh, you know, I wanted to see how Timu was versus, uh, Ally Express versus eBay and uh, just kind of like I got this thing on um, it said that like if you join Timu you got uh, your first item for free and free expedited shipping and whatever else so once I opened up that and I started going through it and everything I got one item for free so I got a portable wash bucket and it's a uh, this, like, what is it? Three or four gallon uh, silicone bucket that has a washing agitator in it. And it's good for, like, socks and underwear and stuff like that. And it, um, so that, that came to me for free. And then I got some silicone baking sheets and some cupcake holders that were uh, silicone, a uh, bag sealer, and what was the other item that I got that was free? That, the bag sealer, that. I think one of my silicone pans were free, but I got like two different silicone, two or three different silicone pans, the bag clip, um, or the bag sealer, and the cupcake uh, stuff, so... All in all, it took about three weeks to get here. Give two to two and a half, three weeks to get here, so not too horribly bad. <clears throat> um, and the quality is what you expect from China drop ship stuff. Uh, so I wasn't disappointed. The uh, wash bucket is freaking amazing, and I've wanted something that I could wash my, like, hand towels and stuff in because I'll clean my kitchen and then my dish towel is, like, completely dirty and I don't want to start up a whole load of laundry just for the dish towel. So having this little washing bucket thing now, um, as soon as I'm done cleaning or that gets dirty, I could just fill that up with water, throw it in, let it do its thing, put the spin attachment in there, let it spin itself out, and hang it to dry, and by the next morning it'll be dry and ready for me to use. So, um, that's been cool, having that option now. And, um, I'm pretty satisfied with Timu. The only thing that I really don't care about the service is, um, they spam the fuck out of you. Like, I'm constantly getting, like, five or six text messages a day. 
I'm getting emails, I'm getting like banner ads, all kinds of stuff just constantly like, hey, Michael, you have this going on for you, you got that going on for you, you got this prize, you bought these items, maybe you might like these items. And so that's the one thing I don't like about is just how spammy it is. But um, all in all, good, like I'm having... I've had a good experience with it, and I'll probably be buying more things from there in the future. Because, you know, regardless if I buy it on Amazon or on eBay or not, um, depending on the item, it's still coming from overseas. So if I can find it on Timu or AliExpress for like a dollar or two, I'm going to pick it up because there's no reason buying it on eBay for like six, seven dollars. You know, it's all coming from the same place. Uh, so there's that. Uh, what else has been going on? Um, yesterday I got into a cleaning mode and I use these 55 gallon contractor bags to, um, that's just what I use as a trash bag. Like, that's my go-to trash bag. I have a 44-gallon um, trash can in my kitchen. And so I just like the, tr compact, or the contractor bags because they're a thicker gauge plastic and they hold more. And I don't have to worry about them ripping. And um, I reuse my trash bags, so um, I'll take it out to the... To the curbside um, trash can and I'll dump all that stuff into the curbside trash can and spray out the inside of the bag so that it doesn't smell and bring it back into the house well yesterday I filled up one of those just cleaning my desk area it took me two and a half hours to clean my desk area and it's still really cluttered, and there's a lot of stuff, but I got a lot of shit off the floor. Um, on this side over here is my um, portable YouTube studio, where I used to uh, use that as my recording studio for when I used my iPhone um, to record. And so it's got my tripod and some ring lights and a couple of different shotgun mics um it's got this microphone with a dead cat on it it's um who is this by newer it's the newer cm14 it's a little shotgun mic and i think it's funny that they call this big furry thing a uh dead cat but yeah it's a tr TTRS uh, connector for smartphones or whatever. So, yeah, got that going on and um, got a little bracket thing set up. Just all kinds of crap right here. Um, studio or background clips, like tons of these little clips all over the pl all over it. Different wires for like this computer, that computer. Uh, millions of plugins or whatever else and then on this side right here is my printer copier um scanner and just a bunch of bullshit <laughs> honestly so i got a lot of stuff that i gotta um pick up and clean up and do things to and with still so I've been working on my kitchen and my living room, and today there is all of that stuff right here. So I've got like a couple of TV trays right here and this big fan. My goal today is to get all of that crap thrown away and put away and set up. So that oscillating fan is going to be set up somewhere here in the living room. And then um, right in front of it, right here, is two um, plastic storage devices. So I'm going to put stuff into there. And then on top of it is all of my Funko Pops and stuff. You can actually see the outline of 
my Funko Pop boxes right here. Um, I kind of want to try to consult. I want to take all of the Funko Pop that I have right there and put it onto a back shelf that's just right on the other side of the screen here and um, try to consolidate things a little bit more as I get digging into that area. And um, so, yeah, that's my that's my goal for this weekend is to get that little section cleared out. Um, I also got a portable uh, air conditioner that's over in that area that was just given to me. And so I want to get that all cleaned up. I want to get the air conditioner in my bedroom cleaned up. And um, it's super freaking heavy. And I think that um, there's a drain plug on it. Um, it was really heavy when I got it. And I didn't know that it had it, that they're supposed to drain out water or whatever. So... Um, before it gets really hot, I want to take my air conditioner out of my bedroom and see if there is an actual drain plug on it. If there is a drain plug on it, then uh, try to pull it and see if that lessens some of uh, the weight to it and also makes it work a little bit better for this upcoming summer because yesterday it got up to 65 degrees and right now it's already 55 and sunny and bright and cloud free out there so i have a feeling it's going to get really hot today or hot for our area uh we're supposed to be up in the 70s today and so i know for some of you who live in the south uh 70 doesn't sound like that big of a deal but here in the pacific northwest when you know 45 is warm uh anything much above and beyond that is like kill me now or at least for me so i and that's coming from you know i'm a former desert boy like born and raised in the palm springs area of southern california <clears throat> where it would be 120 to 130 degrees on any given day and a friend of mine, uh, he posted a picture of his outdoor thermometer, and it was pegged out at 125. And um, I'm sure it was a little bit hotter than 125, but yeah, it was. That's as far as that particular thermometer could go, and it was 125, and it's only April 30th, going into May. I do not miss that heat at all. And, you know, people always say, oh, well, I, I could never live in that heat. Well, actually, you can. Uh, you really don't feel anything much above 110. Like, you just feel pressure at that point. <laughs> that was, that loud clip, or that loud snapping sound was one of the uh, clips flying off. So it scared the hell out of me. But, um, yeah, you just feel this pressure. Like, you walk outside and it's like, damn. Ugh. Once you get past it, it's just varying degrees of hot and uncomfortable. Uh, so here we have humidity that goes along with the heat. So it'll be 65 out with 85% humidity, which makes you feel just like, oh, this is wonderful. But, um, yeah. So, that's what I got going on. Doing my ASL and working on my book. Got a lot of good stuff going on with that. Um, I'm going to be looking for five beta readers so if you're interested in possibly becoming a beta reader uh let me know in the comment section down below and um i will uh keep you in mind uh one thing that i would like for you to know is that you will have to sign some legal forms um stating that you you know just bo standard bo boilerplate stuff that um, you understand that you cannot uh, publicly talk about the book 
or whatever until it's published. You cannot uh, recreate or transmit or whatever any part of the book uh, and so on and so forth. And um, there's going to be some other guidelines in there as to what you can and cannot do as a beta reader. Uh, so if that's something that you are interested in or think that you might be interested in, like I said, please let me know. Um, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go so that I can jump into my day and you guys could do your day. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.